the structure and composition of both metals and alloys, are the most important considerations, when deciding corrosion characteristics, and material structure behavior under certain conditions. As an example, the material that is considered immune to the most corrosive environments around ambient temperature, could catastrophically fail as a result of long-term exposure to higher temperatures. Just a quick reminder about common lattice structures and their effect on materials properties. The unit cell is the smallest structure that when stacked all together will form a complete crystal. The most common types of unit cells are the face-centered cubic FCC, the body-centered cubic BCC, and the hexagonal close-packed HCP. We are going to talk about FCC and BCC structure. The simple cubic unit cell SC is often used for explanation purpose only. Starting with the simple cubic unit cell. In this type of unit cell, there are eight atoms at the corners, one atom for each corner. This type is rarely found in metals and just used for explanation. If we consider adding additional atom in the middle of the cube, then we have got the body-centered cubic unit cell as shown in the following slide. The body-centered cubic unit cell has atoms at each of the eight corners of the cube, plus one atom in the center of the cube. Each of the corner atoms, is the corner of another cube, so the corner atoms are shared among eight unit cells in the crystal. Obviously, when the metal is deformed, the planes of atoms must slip over each other, however the BCC structure found is highly resistant to such type of deformation. And this is the reason, why metals with BCC structure, are usually harder and less malleable than metals with FCC structure. The face-centered cubic structure, has an atom located at each corner of the cube, in addition to another atom at each face of the cube. The atoms from one layer, nest themselves in the empty space between the atoms of the adjacent layer. Consequently, in the FCC structure the atoms can pack closer together, than they can in the BCC structure. Therefore, a typical face-centered cubic alloy would have relatively high impact energy, and relatively high toughness values, even over lower or sub-zero temperatures. In addition, the FCC structure have also a high number of slip systems, that make the structure more ductile.